staring at the posters on your wall now. I know. Yeah. Yes, I have a lot back here. Congratulations to the three of you. I will say I have been a fan of this series since day one, and I absolutely loved how it ended, even though I'm still processing it. <laughs> I can't wait for fans to see it. So again, the first of all, congratulations to the three of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yes. So fans have always loved the relationship between Jen and Judy, and that is like the true heart of the series. And some fans are even kind of rooting for them to be together as a couple. So for Liz and Linda, what was the aspect of their relationship this season that the two of you were looking most forward to kind of exploring? Linda, I'll begin with you. I was looking forward to, the thing that I love the most is that I get to go back and forth with Christina. She's so brilliant. And just when we get to go back and forth as Jen and Judy, it's just, it's so much fun. It's a different relationship than I've ever had with anybody on camera. And it is just so rich. And we just, have, we always find so many amazing things. I mean, we all do, especially when we work together. I mean, it's just, we're so lucky with the people that we get to work with. And Liz always writes us such interesting things that you know that you're not only playing just one thing, you have so many other layers underneath there. But my favorite thing, sort of looking forward to this season, was how much Jen and Judy get to actually go on this ride together and, and really see the two of them come together in a way and, and sort of face their past and their, you know, and, and find these answers together. Um, Cause that's, I don't know. I just, I love where their relationship goes like that. Yeah, Liz, your dialogue is amazing. Grief is just love with no place to go. Like that's just such a great, great theme this season. So for you, what, where were you excited to see Jen and Judy go in their relationship this season? I mean, I think, you know, to, to what Linda was saying, you know, my focus was, I just want to see them together as much as possible. And I want to bring their relationship full circle. You know, these are these are two characters that met out of the blue at a grief group, you know, and their lives became so intertwined, you know, with true friendship, you know, rife with dramatic irony. And, you know, they, they both experienced these traumas uh, in life that, I think this relationship ultimately helps them heal. And to me, like that is the gift of, of the best kind of friendship is to be able to go through the toughest times together and, you know, come out whole uh, together. And, you know, I just, I love, you know, the, one of the great gifts of my life has just been sitting behind a monitor and watching those two women and James perform and just do their thing. It is, it is every take is good, truly. I could, I could, I could, you know, we could just yell cut after the first take and it would still be a wonderful show, but selfishly I make them keep doing it. And, um, <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's magic. It's really, really rare to find that kind of alchemy, you know, between, between actors and, and writers and just the, our whole sort of magical um, mixture. And um, yeah, so that's, I was just sort of looking forward to getting to watch them. I love it. Honestly, it's like one of my favorite on-screen friendships ever. James, for you, you have some pretty wicked twin scenes this season and in this series overall. No spoilers here, but there's some shots where we see both Ben and Steve together. What does that look like on set? And honestly, you've done <laughs> so many types of roles. What has been the coolest thing for you as an actor to play twins? I think you just said it. I think that was, yeah, within that. Um, yeah, there was some, I was excited about it. I got really excited about it, not in some sort of like, you know, self-serving kind of way, but I was like, as an actor, it was like, oh, this is something I've never done before. I, I really love the challenge of this. And, and of course, my heart is always like, I want to serve the story. I, I just want to, I want to serve the story and, and, you know, obviously make all of this believable. But, um, but it was fun, I guess. It, 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 there were moments where, yeah, we were having conversations with each other and I think after the first season when we or uh, when we got into the second season when we decided the twin thing was what we we're gonna do or, that it was like I think I said something to you I was like I wonder if they ever have a conversation with each other like, you did you did and then I was like well now they're gonna have to have a conversation <laughs> together is that okay. something that we careful all want to suggest uh, yeah careful what you suggest <laughs> you mean what you two suggest Jameses on, on one screen who doesn't want to see that I mean <laughs> that's but, true, that's true. yeah but it's like it's fun it's like you know I mean I don't know you just uh, to be able to kind of switch into completely different characters and then turn the camera around and just do the other guy and know and cross your fingers and hope that it's gonna cut together it's gonna work and people are gonna believe it um, I don't know. I just, um, I, I loved that challenge of that and hopefully it works. It was amazing. It was, 
It's amazing. It honestly feels like I'm watching two different men on screen. Well, they're wrapping me. Congratulations to the three of you. Please tell Christina her fans are sending her lots of love. And James cannot wait for Disenchanted. Linda, I'm obsessed with Legally Blonde. And my dad and I love Freaks and Geeks. So, so excited to chat with you today. And Liz, I'm looking forward to your new Netflix series. I can't Thank wait you. to see where your mind takes us next. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you guys. Bye.